Hey YouTube friends, this is Kristen, VSG Hard on My Sleeve, and I am recording my one week post-op video. Um, I want to say first of all thank you everyone for all of your comments, your emails, your um, messages, just it's been... I'm gonna cry. Um... It's just been so nice, so thank you um, for all of that. It's really picked me up and helped in this past week, so, all right. Whew. So let me kind of give you a brief recap. My God, I don't know why I'm crying. Um, first of all, I had surgery last Monday on May 6th. I posted a one-day post-op video and a two-day post-op video, which I will link below. Um, check those out if you didn't see them. Uh, then I came home. So I came home Tuesday night. Uh, I was really kind of out of it, I think from the morphine still being in my system, so I slept most of Tuesday night and Wednesday I was kind of in and out of it. Um, I was switched to Tylenol with codeine that I was taking every four hours and you know it really wasn't bad. I came home and I was really resting. I mean I was kind of doped up but not like I was in the hospital. Um, I wanted to say I did have blurry vision from the anesthetics that lasted for about three days. Um, but eventually it went away. Sorry. Um, and so when I first came home, I was kind of like, when is this going to get hard, you know? Um, this is really not that bad. I'm not in a lot of pain. I'm getting my fluids in. I'm getting my protein in. Um, and, and that held true. Um, until probably Friday, which would have been day five. Um, Thursday night my mom left. My grandmother flew in, who has been really helpful. Um, but most people know, you know, a mother is like the best caretaker in the world. And so she left Thursday. My, my Nana came on Friday. Um, my husband was working Friday. And all of a sudden, Friday, I hit a wall with the protein where I just could not, could not get it in anymore. Those protein shakes were just too sweet. It wasn't working. Um, and I was having really bad nausea. And so, Friday, I had, like, my breaking point. Um, my nutritionist told me that everyone has buyer's remorse. I guess that was as close as I came to buyer's remorse. I thought it was going to be because I missed food. It really, it hasn't been that bad, honestly. Like, my family has had Chinese takeout, and um, they've made pizza, and, you know, good meal, home-cooked meals, and they've had Quidoba, and stuff, you know, that, I mean, shoot, anything looks good at this point. Last night, they were eating, like, hot roast with carrots, and I was like, I'd kill for a carrot. But, um... But honestly, I thought that was going to be a struggle, and the food has not been an issue. The issue for me is, was feeling nauseous um, on and off, feeling out of it, feeling, feeling bad that I couldn't participate with my son, um, and, you know, and then I got to the point where I just could not could not drink any more protein, and um, I was like gagging trying to get it in. So Friday was my breakdown. My husband came home. I literally like was bawling, you know, collapsed on him, crying in my room. Um, just felt horrible. Um, Saturday was a little bit better. I tried to like move around more, I sat outside, um, 
just to get fresh air because I had been really like cooped up in my room feeling so nauseous and then Saturday night um, I really was just kind of like just get me through these days um, part of this also has been that I have a drain my surgeon keeps a drain in for 10 days so I have a drain until Thursday which is three days from now um, so by Friday I think I was like over the drain Saturday I was you know I was just over it um, I, it was uncomfortable because you roll on your stomach in the night and the drain's like pushing on you and I'm paranoid that the safety pin that I clipped to my clothes is gonna pop open and like stab me in the night I don't know so it just was like bad so and then Saturday night I actually got sick like through was throwing up um, obviously not much to throw up but um, my husband had to like bring me the garbage can from the bathroom and we were up you know at like one in the morning with me puking so um, yesterday Mother's Day happy Mother's Day by the way um, I finally called my doctor and I was like something is not right I cannot get my protein in um, you know last night I threw up I'm nauseous I'm like I just it was horrible. The nausea was just horrible. Um, and so, excuse me, so he took me finally off of my pain medicine. I was off of my pain medicine all day yesterday and so far this morning, and I honestly don't really have pain. I mean, it feels like I did a hard ab workout. Um, you know, and your your muscles are sore, but not pain. Um, I can show you my incision sites. They're not really cute, but they're not as bad as I expected. I only have three of them that are glued. I have one that's in my belly button that you can't see at all. And then I have the drain site, which I'm sure is going to be a scar, but um, those aren't really hurting. The drain site's a little bit sore, but it's not even what I would call painful. Um, so anyway, that brings me today, which is one week post-op. Um, I, like I said, Thursday in a couple more days I get this drain out and I get to go to purees, which I cannot wait. Um, I've been looking up pureed, you know, recipes and listening to, watching videos of people, things they recommend, and I'm telling you, like, yogurt sounds incredible. <laughs> I can't wait to have just regular something with more texture. Um, but anyway, that is my week in, in a nutshell. Let me look at my list really quick and see if I missed anything. Um, I talked about the drain. I The support from Frank, my mom, I'm gonna cry again, oh my god. My nana, my son has just been amazing. Um, going through stuff like this just it really makes you appreciate your family and your loved ones and the people who are there for you so um, that has been awesome um, like I said this began a lot easier than I expected and then ended up being emotionally much harder than I expected but not in the way I thought I thought it would be you know, grieving food, which I'm sure I probably will eventually, but um, that's not what's difficult. The emotional part for me is feeling like I'm not participating, you know, that I'm like a shut-in. Um, the stupid drain, I'm not comfortable like going out with a drain hanging from my clothes, you know? Um, so that, and then, you know, just that sick feel. I was nauseous for three days, so that just emotionally is is tough. Um, I said the protein is is tough to get in right now, um, but I'm doing the best I can. I'm getting in, my nutritionist wants 20 grams a day, I'm getting that in. So, um, getting my fluids in. Um, talked about the meds. The meds made me you know, my vision blurry, they definitely made me tired, I was in and out of it, um, they made me have, like, it was like I, my head would fall over, I'd be asleep, and I'd be dreaming, 
like in an instant, which was weird. Um, I told you they made me nauseous. I got sick Saturday night. Oh, one thing I should say is um, they made me itchy, like my skin itchy everywhere. So I guess I should have known I was having some sort of reaction um, to the codeine right away, but I just assumed it was like the anesthetic wearing off. Um, but I guess if you start getting itchy, call your doctor, because I wish I would have the first day I was home. Um, and then, oh, I was going to say, everything I took to the hospital, I didn't really need most of it. Um, the most important things were the chapstick, the extension cord, my iPad, iPhone, because it kept me um, connected when I was awake, which wasn't often. My own pillow. But the most important thing over this past week for me has been a heating pad. I don't know that I even like really need it, it's just been like comforting to hold a heating pad you know, on your, on your tummy. Um, so I would highly recommend if you don't have a heating pad, get one. Um, okay, and this is getting really long, so I will end by saying the statistics, which is that I am officially today, one week, I am 14 pounds and 2 ounces down. Can you believe that? I actually, like, cried my eyes out to my husband last night because I was like, he goes, what's wrong? I thought you're feeling better, you know? And I was like, no, it's happy tears because I, I can't believe it's working. Um, and just knowing that I'm never going to go back to that place is awesome. So yeah, in one week, 14.2, I think, yeah, 14.2 pounds down. So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for supporting. I'll see you guys later.